Well, yesterday was all the measuring, and I took the wheels off of everything, put everything on jack stands, everything's level. Uh, what I need to do now is I had welded braces to to um, brace the front of the Bronco chassis. What I'm going to do is find the center of that, make sure everything's even again, and then I'm going to tack weld a straight piece of metal to the front, find the front of or the middle of the front end, make sure everything's even again, and then tack weld a brace between the Bronco chassis and the front end when everything's uh, where everything needs to be basically that way nothing's gonna move on me plus I wanna find the center of this because it's very difficult by myself to move everything so uh, that's what I'm gonna do it should be easy there's the braces I was talking about I'm gonna find the center of that which uh, shouldn't be too hard find the center of that and then I'm gonna have a brace straight straight with the Bronco chassis and it's going to come out and meet up with the front end. That way when I find the middle of the front end I can match it up with that that piece of metal I'm going to tack on there and be good that way. Takes out the guessing. Uh, here's a piece of metal. Uh, thinking something like this. I can tack weld that in the center. do that. So one foot and then add the three eighths. Now these measurements should be the same. Alright, one foot one fourth, one foot three eighths. Sheet. One foot one fourth. Measure it again. One foot one fourth. Let me go in between a fourth and three eighths, right there. Give it an extra lip. Yes! Sweet! Now, when I tack weld that rail, it's got to be super straight. I know these braces are where they need to be because they're both above the, mo the the body mounts and the body mounts are where they need to be. Alright, let me take some measurements. First let me check my phone because it might be important. So what I'll probably do is when I find the center of uh of this front end and uh, everything situated this is centered with that with that rail because I know that rail is the center of that Bronco frame what I'll do is I'll make another brace going this way to keep everything from like moving that's the best way I I think I can I can do it because any other way I don't know I've been measuring this frame trying to figure out if everything is uh, what's even what's not as you can see these motor mounts the motor sits in this front end more towards the passenger side because it's offset probably because of the power steering pump and uh, I've been trying to figure out what else is uh, what I can get measurements from because these are different obviously so but uh, what I found were uh, the these holes here there's one here and there's one hidden by the power steering pump here. But uh, there's these holes and there's also these studs sticking up. And I measured them. They're 22 inches exactly. So 11 inches would give me the middle. Therefore, I know, I know where it needs to be. You can see that nice shiny metal because I, I degreased this and I went to town with a wire wheel on this before I painted it. Which that does a lot. 
trying to figure out. All right, let, let's do mount to ball joint. 30 inches. Now let's do this side. Mount. Mount to ball joint. 31. What the fuck? That makes no sense. I thought all, all this was that way. All right. One stud. 32 and a half. I don't know, man. I think this front end's fucked up. Is that so oh, no. I can't go by that. I just, I just broke a rule. I'm measuring suspension components that can wear out over time. Ninety-seven and a half. So this end is out too much. Let me go with, all right, these are the same right here. Let me measure this to this one. Seven feet, all right. this and make sure. I mean, I just measured it so I know I'm sure, but oh my god, I think I fucking got it. So, instead of making bends to come in here, this last mount is even with the outside of the Bronco on each side. So, I could just Drill like two holes, nut and bolt it inside. I'll put a plate in here, nut and bolt it. And I'll make gussets and weld everything in. Just box it. Because that'll come up right here. So basically, all I need to do is have this piece. I need to make it bend a little for this mount. Come down here, bend down. I can nut and bolt this piece, then weld it with a plate on the inside. That'll be perfect. It's like it was meant to be. Now the next thing I need to do is the metal I got is 5x3 and the 5 won't fit in here so I made some uh, I made a template and I traced it on these pieces basically I have to cut it out and then uh, I'll probably weld another piece of metal, thinner metal there because where the A-arms go it won't uh, it won't fit. It won't fit underneath there. So, and it's got to come through that channel. So, I'll probably do that now. Well, I ran out of cutoff wheels, and my back's getting to me anyway. So, I'm gonna call it a day and go inside. But I managed to cut off uh, half of the pattern that I made. I still have to do the other half and then a complete one on the other side and then I'll box all that in so it's still strong enough to to do what it's supposed to do.